guys, welcome back to Cricut Monday. What we're going to be doing today is I have two frames that are 8x10 from the Dollar Tree. And I found two free printable images on Pinterest. And I will link them in the description box below. Um, they were just pictures that someone had and I just saved them to my computer. Uh, but I want to make some farmhouse pictures for my laundry room. I think this will be so cute. And you can make this even if you don't have a Cricut. You can use the clear printable Avery shipping labels or the white uh, printable Avery shipping labels instead of the Cricut uh, and the vinyl. So I already have Design Space loaded here on my computer. You just go to the circle with the plus for the new project. And I was working on something, so I'm going to replace it. That will put us on our canvas. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to, I've already uploaded mine to my computer, so I'm going to Images over here on the left-hand side, and then you would Browse All Material and click Uploaded. Okay, so I'm going to click on both of these. That will put a green box around it. Then I'm going to go to the bottom corner, Insert Images, I've had some power surges today, so I'm recording this for the second time. My Cricut really, something happened to it, and my computer as well. So um, just bear with me if everything seems a little off on this video. So here's my images on here. If you look over into the Layers column, it's a Print Then Cut. That's what I want. So anytime you're doing a Print Then Cut, you can make the image 6.75 wide by 9.25 high and that's what I want so I'm going up here to the size where the little lock is unlock it backspace to get rid of those numbers and for the width I want 6.75 and the height I want 9.25 okay and we're going to lock it back and I think this is going to be so beautiful with the bee and then the can and the flowers and the lemons this would even be pretty in a kitchen anywhere, really. Now I'm going to click on this one. Same thing. I'm going to go out from size, unlock it, and go uh, 6.75 by 9.25 and lock that back, okay? Now if you don't have the Cricut, like I said, just download these images to your computer print them off on the Avery shipping labels and you will be great. So I'm going over here to make it right top corner. I have my Cricut set to custom. Okay, now since I've already printed and totally finished my project, what you would do is you would just go continue right bottom corner, then you would go send to printer, it would print it, and then it would allow you to select your material and I have a lot of videos showing that and I'm really sorry that this one is really messed up but I don't want to waste the first one I printed out on uh, clear sticker paper clear stick clear printable sticker paper from silhouette and you can use it in your Cricut the second one I used the silhouette printable vinyl and that way you could have two options and see what it would look like two separate ways I think with the printable clear sticker paper or that clear Avery sticker sheets it looks like it's made into the glass and then if you use like I did with the second one the printable vinyl or the white Avery sticker labels then it looks like it's back behind it like a picture so um, I'm just going to go ahead and stop this and then the next time you see me we'll be printing out all these little um, pictures. Now it may not make a lot of sense because I was going to go back and then print this one but uh, once you print this one out you just click on number two and it puts you on there. Okay here's my clear sticker paper from Silhouette and you want to load the doll side up. I started writing it on here because I can never remember. Okay, so here's like just a little piece I cut off. This is the real shiny side and this is the duller side. I have to load mine doll side up to get it to print out correctly. Okay, and here um, are my um, frames. And I just took the Waverly chalk paint in mineral and just went around them 
And at first I was going to use something like black vinyl and put it on here. And that's why I have the scrapbook paper in there. I think it's really pretty. I don't know if I'm going to leave it like that or not. Here's this first image that I printed out. I love it. It is so pretty. Now I'm just going to use a standard grip mat. And I'm just going to place this right on here. I need to just get a smaller one of these. Okay, then we're going to insert this right under those little lips. Then I'm going to hit the blinking arrow to load it. And the blinking C to cut. It's going to be really easy. It's just going to cut. I didn't fix it. You could fix it to where it would cut out the leaves and everything. But I'm just going to let it cut out where this little bit of a darker shade is. Not this. This is the registration mark. But there's a grayer one in there. And you can see that in a minute. But I wanted something really cute and farmhouse for my utility room. I have a very large utility room. Well, I think it's large. It has a ton of storage. And um, I really never did decorate it. So I'm going to start doing something in there. Um, and I think I'm also going to do some true farmhouse pictures where it says like um, something about sorting life out one load at a time. Just different things like that. I don't know. I haven't really decided. But I, I want to do something similar to that. But I always want something sort of French country in there with it because my house is French country farmhouse with a little Tuscan. Okay, so this one's finished. So we're going to pull this one off. Okay, what you can do is just pull out everything you don't want. But I'm just, I cut this twice so that it would give us a really clean cut. So I'm just going to pick this up and find out where I want this. And that's what we have. I think that's really cute, okay? It looks like a vintage print, okay? And you could put just pure white back in there if you wanted. And I could change out my paper. I don't know. I swear I really like it like this, okay? If you use the white Avery sticker labels, then it would be solid white in the background and it would show up much better. But I personally like this, okay? So now we're going to go to our next one. Okay, this is our next one. I just think that is going to be adorable. And I'm going to put this right here and press it down. Put it back in here. Hit the button to load it. And the blinking C to cut. And I'll be back just as soon as this finishes. Okay, we had a power failure, so I'm going to cut this again because my Cricut went insane. So I'm going to load it with the blinking arrow. I think I've caught this, I don't know, and cut with the blinking C. Um, but I'm using printable vinyl for this one so you can see what it would be like on the white stickery, sticker, woo, on the white Avery sticker labels. Um, and I switched this background to white cardstock. And this, I love it. It just looks like it was printed on the glass. I love that effect. So I'm doing two different types uh, because I wanted to show you that. So just as soon as this gets finished printing out and hopefully, I mean cutting out, and hopefully we won't have another power surge. If we do, I'll just come back with whatever I have. I'll be okay, right Okay, I don't know what's going on with our electric, but it keeps messing everything up. But um, this, the Cricut has lost its mind. It didn't cut this very end. And it, But if you print it out as a sticker, you won't have that problem. And I'm just going... Okay, here's the first one that we did with the clear sticker paper. I love how that turned out. It looks like it's actually printed on the glass love it okay and you would use the Avery clear sticker paper if you didn't have a Cricut and you wanted to do this and then here is this one 
and I put it on, not on the glass, but on my um, cardstock underneath, and I love it. Even though my Cricut went a little wacky with all those power failures, I think it looks great. But that's that one. I'll put both of these in the description box below for you in case you want to put these in your um, laundry room. They'd be pretty in a kitchen, bathroom, anywhere. But um, So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday, for a Dollar Tree DIY. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and becoming a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So, until next time, guys. Bye.